rest your eyes and mind. For the human mind is the gateway between both dimensions, and when you fall asleep, my influence is the greatest. I can communicate with your subconscious as your body lays paralyzed in your bed. Do you realize I can read your thoughts and desires? And to answer your question, I am no image made by your mind, an illusion known by men as nightmare. I am not such a thing, mortal. I am as real as your bed, your home, your planet and your world. Even though my existence is as true as yours is vulnerable, I do not exist in your limited understanding of reality, nor do I exist in your dimension, human, yet I exist, and what cannot be seen it still takes residence upon your world, is something far graver. Yet I am not here to go into details on trivial matters, matters that your kind could never hope to bear any understanding of. Even though man has proven to be a rather curious toy, this is something that goes beyond the simple minds that your species possesses. I am not here to warn you of such matters, nor am I here to amuse myself with the human mind, slowly losing grip of what they call sanity. No. I am here for something which I believe you may find interesting. It is not knowledge, it is something else your people value more than gold something that will come to you in the future and benefit us both greatly once you finish these tasks that is however before i can set these events in motion we must agree on certain terms that will make our mutually beneficial endeavor more likely to be successful firstly you mustn't search psychiatric aid in search of alternative options to the origins of my voice. They will only believe you to be going insane. You are not the first mortal I have contacted, nor will you be the last. Many that I have contacted try to ignore my calling. Some even went to these psychologists, as you call them. They are only professors that believe they are well versed in the arts of mind and well-being. Yet they only know so little of the inner workings of your mind. And what they do not understand, they tend to call signs of insanity. Secondly, do not attempt to gather more knowledge about my existence. It will be a waste of time. Even though you may find the knowledge you are looking for, yet in this search you will find things that are to stay hidden. If you wish you keep to keep your insanity, that is. Or you accept these two simple terms and trade for much greater reward. Say it. Good. Now, according to your customs, I believe it is customary that important agreements are sealed with a signature. Do not forget, we are in your dreams, a world moulded by your imagination, papers and anything like that is trivial. Just sign here. Very good. Oh, I know it hurts. But, see it as a necessary pain. Now we both have left our mark. We may continue our arrangement. Oh, 
do not worry. There is nothing I require of you as of now. I'll make call to you in the future, however. If not, do not worry. Everything will happen as it should, as I have arranged everything already, and every event that will occur in the future is set in motion by me. Now awaken. The day is still young and fruitful of events. We will see each other again. Someday. You awaken in a pool of sweat. The memories of your recent nightmare still fresh in your mind. Yet as dreams often tend to turn into vague thoughts, so does your meeting with this unknown voice. And you start to question if it was all just a dream. Nothing more than your mind playing tricks on you, as most dreams tend to be. Either way, you continue your preparations for the day.